Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is uh, the first round of uh, boxes uh, that we're getting here from Bud K. Uh, now these are the SHTF series and this is the basic series. This is the, uh, the, the lowest box in the series. Now these are mystery boxes and uh, the nice thing is with the first one we did happen to uh, get a baseball cap here, uh, an SHTF uh, baseball cap with the, uh, it, I guess that's a little gas mask there and uh, you know an exclamation point. Um, and uh, I guess that's kind of their logo or their, their kind of symbol for that. Now this is a little rubberized kind of uh, emblem here. Uh, that they did so onto this uh, simple black, uh, you know, black baseball cap. Now this does say shtfsurvival.com on the back, so you can of course go there and check out the uh, the uh, products from that area, uh, as well as you can of course get the boxes on Bud K. So uh, you know, there you go, simple uh, Velcro on the back there, and. Uh, Pretty nice, uh, and that was just a little extra for starting up the service. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got uh, everything out here, and and um, it, it, it's kind of interesting because um, gotten some stuff that uh, I've actually seen before. I'll mention it here in just a second. Uh, first thing that we've got is this little card here, and uh, this little card on the back it does have a list of all the products that are supposed to be in the box. It does have the three different box uh, sizes. You have the basic box, the pro box, and then the elite box. And then of course it does tell you the different cost uh, of these boxes each month. Now we are doing just the basic box here, which is $19.99. Uh, uh, so we just round it off and say uh, $20. Uh, we'll go with the first one here, and uh, we just talked about a baseball cap. Now we have another one, and uh, this baseball cap also is the uh, is the Velcro. It is a simple black. Now this is silk screened, uh, and it says the second protects the first since 1791. And as you can see, there is a uh, rifle there. There is some stitching around the edge of the brim here. Uh, along with the don't tread on me snake and uh, of course this is referring to the fact that the Second Amendment um, and the right to bear arms protects people's right to freedom of speech. Uh, we'll go ahead I'm just gonna go right down the middle here this next one is uh, by Trailblazer it is a folding wax stove and it does say that the fuel is included uh, it says it folds for compact storage fuel ignites easily and burns odorlessly. It's constructed of tough plated steel. Uh, there's two cooking positions and there are 24 wax fuel uh, tablets that are included. Uh, yep, it has these uh, little grip things here. We have these uh, tablets here. Now this says 24 wax tablets and I am seeing eight. So I don't know, um, I mean, that's that's a little odd. I don't know how they got that. This is exactly the same kind of thing that uh, I had in mind. Uh, now, the uh, the idea, it does say two cooking, cooking positions. I think the first one is with it all the way open like this. And uh, if you have a wide pot, you can set it across here. Um, when I first originally thought about using mine, which is again the one that I had before, it had these uh, ridges. I thought you put it in the ground to keep it from moving, but actually no, these are here to let air in underneath to make sure that your tablets or whatever else you're burning in here uh, stay burning and you get lots of oxygen. Now there is air uh, openings down here. You've got the small holes as well as the bigger holes there and uh, it does get it propped up so obviously you can see my fingers will fit underneath there uh, about a half an inch of a distance there maybe a little bit more so that you've got air circulation uh, now you can also fold it and it does kind of pop into us into an angled uh, section like that 
and that works as well too where you can put something smaller like a mug um, or a, a smaller if you just happen to have one of the small pots I have I have one of the uh, small uh, kind of stowaway kind of pots it's kind of tall but it's very um, small diameter uh, basically the size of a large coffee mug uh, and that would fit over here but if that was opened all the way it wouldn't fit so there you go there um, now these wax uh, type of things they're the same kind as the ones I've had before they uh, they they do burn well uh, they're not they're not hard to use uh, one thing I did notice is that uh, you know trying to do something like at really actually cook with it uh, I mean in one session I, I I could use half of these very easily uh, well next thing we've got and uh, actually we actually purchased one of these um, on its own I actually bought two of them and it is a 15 inch glow stick uh, this does say that it has a 12 hour glow time so uh, definitely something that's gonna last you all night long uh, and uh, with as big as it is it's going to uh, give you a good good amount of um, of light uh, next thing here we've got is uh, this it, it's a pack a whole pack of uh, p38 can openers now of course these are the, uh, the old-fashioned ones from back in like the World War days uh, basically just a very simple flat piece of metal with a hinge and then you've got another piece of metal that is uh, hooked and uh, sharpened you put it on the can and you just kind of twist it back and rock yourself around the can as you go. Now this does come in a pack of five. Uh, now we're going to go ahead to this one here and this one, uh, you know, we actually just got this one as well right along with this, uh, with this nightstick and uh, we'll go ahead and look at it again. Uh, if you want just to, to just see this uh, I'm not going to go over this real heavily like I did uh, before because I do have another video out for the monthly knife series and uh, we got this as our first knife and as you can see this is the Raptor machete and this is a 16 and a half inch machete. Uh, it does have the three rivets there and a full tang. This is roughly an eighth of an inch thick. It does have uh, the somewhat serration on the back. Now this isn't sharp, but my best guess is the idea that this is used to maybe hit something and kind of pull it towards you. It does come with a um, semi-rigid uh, case here, and it does have the little strap here that loops around over top of the hand guard here uh, to keep it in. You can run your belt through uh, the back end right here. And then this last one, we've got Black Legion. Okay, yep, yeah, we've got a knife here. And uh, this, is, this is a pretty nice looking knife. Uh, as you can see, it is a solid black. It does have a, uh, a metal clip, uh, belt clip here. All right, now on the back here, you do have this uh, hook right here. Uh, it kind of kind of a hook looking thing uh, there is a blade in there of course you can use that to uh, to cut rope if you happen to have some paracord or something like that with you that you might be using now it does have this little spike on the bottom uh, you can take and put this edge and put it up against the uh, against the window of course put your thumb at the back end so it doesn't slide through your hand there and you can uh, push and just that little bit of a push with as sharp as this tip is, it will cause, of course, the glass to shatter. Uh, so definitely, uh, definitely a good idea there. Now, uh, it does flip open fairly nicely, as you can see there. Um, it does have this little uh, finger assist right here, so I simply flip it out like that and it locks open. Now we're looking at roughly a, um, a, a, roughly a four inch blade is what it looks like. It looks like we've got about an inch, um, about an inch, inch and a quarter of this uh, kind of serrated type of section down at the bottom, and then all the rest of it is a simple uh, clip point uh, kind of curve there. Definitely a nice knife. 
it's uh, it's got a good feel to it. So uh, there we go. Now we again we've got the six all six products here, and uh, go back through it here. Now uh, we'll read what this says and what they suggest here. Now again, this was a uh, roughly a twenty dollar box here that we got. They say uh, they sell the uh, the light stick here for about three dollars. It's two ninety eight. Uh, the second protects the first cap, and they are saying that uh, you know this is a ten dollar cap. Uh, you do have the uh, the five pack of the P thirty eights, and uh, they do actually only sell these for three dollars. Uh, there is the Raptor machete with the nylon. Uh, belt sheath and uh, they they sell this for thirteen dollars now that what they call this is the black legion assisted opening military fighter uh, and they do say that this sells for eight dollars uh, and then they do say that uh, this little this little trailblazer folding pocket stove with fuel tablets um, and they sell this for about seven dollars they say this. Uh, they say all of these products here are worth approximately uh, forty-four dollars, roughly. Uh, so we're looking at over twice the cost of the box. But uh, I think that'll do it for me today, guys. Uh, you know, this is the uh, this is the uh, the basic box from the uh, SHTF monthly subscription we got here from uh, from Bud K. If you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below and uh, check it out there. You can also check out our social media that's down there. Anyhow, and then once you guys are done down there, don't forget to come on back up, hit that thumbs up button, hit that little icon over there, or the subscribe button down below. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you're notified when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Alright guys, well, that'll do it for me today. My name is Cougar, and this is the World of Me. Uh, I would like to wish you guys all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!